Crops are clearly key to feeding an ever-increasing population. Therefore, we need to make sure that the growing process is as efficient as possible to get the highest yield possible out of the available land. We're getting less land and we need more food. So we need to make the whole process as efficient as possible. Now, as we've learned in the course already, normally, a normal ecosystem, not a farm, plants will die, they could get eaten by animals, but then the animals will die. And all the nutrients in those plants, animals, get returned to the soil because of bacteria and fungi decomposing them. And then they can be used for more plants to grow again. However, that doesn't happen if you're a farmer, if you've got crops in a field, because what happens is that all the minerals get used by the crops, they grow nice and big, then you chop the crops and you take them and you sell them, and none of those minerals get returned to the soil. So the soil becomes deficient in minerals very, very quickly. So farmers have to use some sort of fertilizer. They don't have a choice. They have to use some sort of fertilizer to be able to get the minerals into the soil that they need to grow their crops year on year. There's two types of fertilizers. You could use organic or inorganic. Organic fertilizers are made with manure uh, mixed with straw. They are not efficient as the farmer can't control the exact content of the minerals. However, they're obviously not bad for the environment and they're not actual chemicals, so that's why they're what we call organic. Inorganic fertilizers are carefully formulated chemicals, usually sort of little pellets or a spray that contain minerals such as potassium, phosphorus, nitrate, and ammonia. And the farmer can, can order the exact type of fertilizer that he needs or she needs for their crops. It can be bought in bulk and it can be spread evenly. However, they are bad for the environment, their production is bad for the environment, and also they are more likely to lead to eutrophication, which we talk about in the human influences on the environment video.